Hi, we are going to look at a sample size necessary if we wanted to construct a, um, a confidence interval for a proportion um, with a certain level of confidence and with a certain margin of error. Uh, so in this case, we know that approximately, this is just something that um, was estimated given a sample, 9% of the population believes cilantro tastes like soap. Um, and then they want to know how large of a sample size do we need to collect in order to come up with a 99% confidence interval around that, um, that P of P hat of 9%. Okay, so we get the formula up here for our uh, minimal sample size needed for a proportion. Uh, we know that the margin of error for a proportion, let me write that up first, the margin of error for a proportion is just that part um, of the confidence interval that you add and subtract to the, um, to the point estimate, the p hat, and it's z sub c times the square root of p hat times q hat divided by n. Do some algebra, solve for n, the sample size, And n is equal to p um, times 1 minus p, which is just q, z sub c over e. Okay? These are hats. All right? Sometimes you may not have a p hat, and you can use, instead of this p hat times 1 minus p hat, you can use 1 fourth. Um, for this whole place if you do not have an estimated sample um, p hat, a point estimate. Okay, you can use one fourth there. All right, so let's just plug in the things that we need. We need a z sub c, a p hat, a q hat, or we'll do one minus p for p hat for q hat, a z sub c, and an e. Okay, so let's plug things in. p hat here, the estimated um, p is 9%. We kind of like to have an idea going in forward, like, okay, this is what kind of what we think it is, um, and then we want to get a better confidence interval around that. Uh, we need that to kind of move forward, all right? And then our z sub c, found using that little table in our normal distribution for 99% is um, 2.58. And then they say that we want to, to estimate it within 5%, so our margin of error is 0 0.05. And then we just plug into this formula. So our p hat is 0 0.09. We'll do 1 minus p hat, which is just q, q hat. And this is squared. Um, our z sub c is 2.58. and our E is 0 0.05. If you do that, you get 218.06. Now much like if we wanted to do this with a um, confidence interval for a mean, we talked about the fact that uh, this is a minimum, and so we can't find, of course, 0 0.06 person to come up with, so how many do you really need? And it's so tempting to round this to 218, but if 218.06 is a minimum, we do not want to go below that, so we actually need to survey 219 people to have a uh, maximum margin of error of 0 0.05, otherwise we would have it a little bit above 0.5, 5 percent. Uh, Okay, so we actually need to survey 219 people in order to get a good confidence interval with a margin of error of 0.05. Thank you.